Hey guys, so it's come to my attention that that the Olympics not only has started, but um, there were some very demonic um, influence and inspiration that was added into the Olympics and mockery of something that was in the book of Revelations involving a pale horse. Um, there was a transgender um, drag queens and some transgender people mocking the Last Supper and I think there was something to do with a golden calf um, the one thing I've noticed and it's become more and more clear is that Recently, that there's these antichrist agendas that are um, appearing more and more rampant, particularly LGBTQ-related um, stuff that are getting more involved in movies, uh, TV shows, the schools, and all this stuff. And what people don't realize, except those who follow Jesus, um, people can say, well, now they're making it all woke or whatever, or Satan's making his way into the movies and all that stuff. Guys, Toy Story, uh, Transformers, whether old or new, um, Marvel, um, the Avengers, even the Olympics, um, They've always been um, evil in the eyes of God. So in the past, we've, at least to my knowledge, we've never had drag queens involved or homosexual people dressing up as drag queens before in the Olympics or in certain TV shows or they them pronouns or, or whatever. But now people are making such a big deal about it because it's woke. Guys, are you blind? Do you know that the Lord can reveal things before things even get more rampant? The Antichrist agenda has already been in the TVs, in the movies, this and that, of the public school system, to this thing or to that thing. But don't take as what I say as legalistic, because that's not what I'm trying to say. What I'm trying to say is, is that the Olympics was already evil and wicked as it is for women to be dressed the way they are to show their lustful bodies and their bodies out of uh, vanity. They are um, including men, too, that show their spandex and showing the shapes of people's body parts or unfortunately the man parts and forgive my explicitcy but the thing is is people or even christians try to ignore this stuff or christians would all of a sudden throw a fit saying well because there's an lgbtq thing in this thing now we can't watch it guys you shouldn't be watching it to begin with or even with TV shows or movies that say, oh, there's a sex scene or there's a murder scene. But then all of a sudden when an LGBTQ thing shows up or a woke agenda thing that shows up, just say, um, you guys flip out about it. Guys, the Antichrist agenda has been here way before uh, the word woke was even abused and used. So what I'm just going to plainly tell you is, is repent from, from having shades on your eyes and rip them off in Jesus' name. Don't let um, certain things um, just all of a sudden make you wake up and then just be like, oh, well, this and that. I know that sounds confusing, but what I'm trying to say is, is that... Um, Honestly, you shouldn't be watching the Olympics. And it kind of dawned on me about it, but it really is something that you shouldn't be watching, let alone movies or TV shows. 
So, what I'm just gonna plainly say is, is don't watch the Olympics because more and more every day is God revealing um, things are very antichrist and more antichrist than ever. May Jesus bless you and may his curse may not be upon you.